Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, South Africa. My name is Gustav Miller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 148, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm busy with a mini-series on Kentucky Bourbon whiskies. I've already done a review and food pairing on the Eagle Rare behind me. Today it's the Buffalo Trace and then I've got two more lined up in this mini-series. But for today, Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Produced at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Founded in 1849, even though at that time, probably under a different name, there is an aerial view of the enormous distillery, some of the brands that are produced at the distillery. It's owned by the Sazerac Company, and there is a, like a whole list of the brands that is produced at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Matured in new chart American white oak barrels. Very well known Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Bottled at 45% alcohol by volume. Let's see what the Buffalo Trace has got for us today. A very nice amber color. There we go. Amber color and probably some legs forming on the glass. This whiskey is produced from the Buffalo Trace Mash Bill number one. Buffalo Trace has got a Mash Bill number one and a Mash Bill number two. And even though they don't give the recipe and the combination of grains uh, in those mash bills, it seems like this is probably a low rye mash bill. Amber color, vanilla, maple syrup, honey, caramel, corn sweetness, almost corn bread. What a sweet. Soft nose, a little bit of an alcohol aroma and some soft fruit in the background almost. And on the palate, mm. soft, most of what's on the nose most of those aromas translate onto the palate sweet with a bit of brown sugar, caramel, almost like caramel popcorn, toffee, vanilla, corn sweetness, a medium long finish, quite smooth with sweet corn syrup as I'm sitting here and a bit of warm spice right at the end. Mm. Corn sweetness. Honeyed corn bread. Buttery. Oak spices. A bit of dark fruit, a little bit of tobacco even, and a seed, oak. Let's see what a few drops of water will do. A very easy drinking American bourbon whiskey. So I've added a few drops of water. See the reaction of the water there. This is one of those bourbons that's easy to drink for a beginner, but it also has a level of complexity and layers of flavors that will satisfy even the expert whiskey drinker, whiskey enthusiast. 
So after a few drops of water, caramelized brown sugar. Caramelized brown sugar again. Wonderful. A little bit more fruity after a few drops of water. But what a pleasant bourbon. Very pleasant. What will be my summary? I would say soft honeyed cornbread or caramel popcorn. That could be a very good summary for this Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. The price in South Africa is around 400 Rand. From what I could find out, around 25 pounds in the UK and probably, I'm thinking, 30 US dollars in the United States. You can perhaps just comment below the video what the price is around your area. If you want to pair this bourbon with a food snack, then I would recommend that you connect with the most prominent flavors. The honey, the cornbread, the caramel, the, the caramelization. Uh, so I'm thinking like a caramel popcorn. I'm thinking uh, cornbread buttered with, with honey or caramel sauce. But for today, I have decided to go with buffalo wings. I was just thinking, buffalo trace, buffalo wings. There we go, which is of course chicken wings, but uh, barbecued with a very nice barbecue sticky sweet sticky sauce. And uh, I'm gonna try and see how this works with buffalo trace Kentucky bourbon. Mmm. Wonderful. Even the aromas is already connecting. The sweet barbecue sauce. Excellent. It's like just shouting more, 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 more buffalo wings, more buffalo trace. This is fabulous. What an excellent pairing and what an easy drinking yet layered bourbon whiskey. Very, very nice. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful adventure. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video when I'm going to do the third in this mini-series on Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskies. Until then, cheers!